Welcome. I'm Amy Roman. In this video, I will provide you with an orientation to the AlphaCore page set so you will know your way around. What you are looking at right now is the AlphaCore Topics and Tools page. This page serves as a hub for everything you need in AlphaCore. To return to this page, you'll always just select the Topics and Tools button on any page or keyboard. It looks like this. Right here, the Topics and Tools. At the top of the page are light blue Topics buttons that link to pages of stored messages. We will look at one of these topics pages shortly. In the middle of the page are medium blue tools buttons. There are a wide variety of tools available that enable people using an alternative access method such as eye tracking to independently listen to music, send a text, read a book, navigate the web, and more. You can see all your tools by selecting more tools. The dark blue buttons at the bottom of the screen are quick buttons. These buttons typically appear on every page and provide links to the things you use most often, like your keyboard and your go back button that returns you to the last page you're on. Now, this is the Alpha Core settings button represented by a wrench icon. This settings page is fully accessible regardless of what access method you use. It contains the settings that you are most likely to need. Take time to see what's here. Now, the full set of all Mind Express settings can be found in the drop down menu under settings, represented by a gear icon. Unlike the Alpha Core settings page, this area is not accessible to people using eye tracking, dwell selection, or scanning, so a helper is needed to make changes in this area. The final three buttons at the bottom are topics pages. These particular topics pages are often useful in a variety of situations. So we brought them down to the bottom so they could appear on every topics page. There is a video tutorial called Communication Strategies with Quick Button Topics that goes over these important topics pages and explores some communication strategies that can make interacting with a speech device more effective and avoid some of the most common frustrations. Now let's take a look at the greetings page. Here you'll find a page with messages designed to help you greet people and start a friendly chat. The messages provided on topic pages are designed to get you communicating quickly and inspire your own message ideas. The topics and messages included in AlphaCore have been useful to clients I've worked with over the years, but I encourage you to personalize, move or delete messages according to your needs. And of course, you can add your own messages. There are video tutorials to help you learn how to do all of this. Now, at the top of every message page, there's a message box. When you select most messages, they will appear in the message box, for example. Hi. How are you doing? Next to the message box is a delete all, which clears the message box. In the left-hand corner is the toolbox. Here you'll find some helpful tools like undo. You can see that brought back the message. And an attention chime. The what's in your toolbox video will help you learn about these tools and give you some tips about using them. Let's see, let's go back. To the right of the uh, message box is a speak stop button that will speak your text, um, any text you have in the message box, and will also stop a message that is being spoken. This can be pretty helpful if you accidentally uh, select uh, a, a personal message and you're in a crowd. Right under the speak and stop 
uh, button is the is a a button that will always show you the page you're on the title of the page you're on under the name button are two buttons that enable you to edit the page and the messages contained on it now as you can see some messages are light blue and some are white the light blue messages are regular message buttons they add text to the message box the white buttons are sentence starters they add text to the message box, but also link to another page shown in parentheses so you can complete your message. Let's try this one. You can see drinks is in parentheses. Would you like a drink? We have. And then you can finish your sentence. Coffee or sparkling water. If you want to speak the whole sentence, you could come up here. Would you like a drink? And we can we have stop coffee it or spark right on the spot. Finally, at the bottom of the page is your keyboard, so you can compose any message you'd like. Now, most keyboards in AlphaCore provide you with word and sentence prediction. Here you can see word prediction. Some keyboards provide a separate row for each, but on other keyboards, like the one you're looking at, you need to select which you want to be um, looking at using a toggle. So here you can go between word prediction and sentence prediction. This is so we can make the buttons bigger on this keyboard. Now, a fun trick with sentence prediction is you can use a, a keyword. Let's try this one. We'll type the word leg. When you do that, the sentences um, that uh, are, are frequent sentences that have that word in them will appear. So you could say, please move my left leg. OK, well, now you know the alpha core layout. I hope that was helpful. Be sure to explore your topics and tools. You won't get lost since there is always a keyboard or topic tool button to bring you home. The AlphaCore guide offers an orientation also if you would like another reference and some additional information. Enjoy AlphaCore. <laughs>